Hey guys, happy Wednesday. I first want to give a big shout out to our crochet group. Y'all are amazing. What fun. So social crochet was fantastic today. We had some new folks joining us. It was really fun. We had a great time. So thank you one and all. Um, hey, Tony, how are you? So big, big shout out to the crocheters. Uh, really fun, really good group. So everybody's starting to pile on here. Hey everyone, Helene, Lorna, Debbie, Margaret, Cindy, Betsy, yay. Hey Debbie, we miss you. So a couple things, we're gonna be kind of quick today because tonight is our Zoom. So hopefully many of you will join us. We've had some pretty good audiences, it's fun. Um, great way to just grab your favorite evening beverage and knit away with us, see what we're doing, see what's going on. Uh, they've been pretty educational. We've been sharing some fun tips and tricks. It's been great. Hey, Margaret. Hey, Deb. Hey, Karen and Cindy. How you doing? So what I've been working on during our Zoom, I have two projects that are active right now. Um, one is my Stephen West uh, painted bricks. We're almost done with that. It's on the border. I try to do a row every Wednesday just to keep me going through it. But this has my heart right now. This is my love note. And our Madeline Tosh should be coming in pretty soon. They said November, so I'm excited. And we're going to have a lot of fun. I'm waiting on some final details, but we're going to have a November Madeline Tosh surprise for y'all. We're cooking it up. Hey, Mom's here. Yay! She's awesome. She's got all these screens queued up, so when I say something, she can flash it up there for you real fast. Assuming Facebook is playing nice, which today I understand they were not. So we may be a little shy on some of our postings. We'll do the best we can. Uh, but love note, looking good. Madeline Tosh impressions and Tosh Marino light tweed. So we can get a real good close up on that. You can see the little tweed. What are all these markers? That's my sleeves counting stitches. So I know when my other sleeve is even. Nice little handy trick. Every 20 rows, throw in a marker. Hey, Kelly. Hey, Mary Jane. How are you? Hey, Colleen. So for those waiting on Emma's yarn, uh, it's finally coming. Yay. I believe they're going to ship everything Friday. And my rush right now get it to me order that I sent out three weeks to a month ago they said they finally got out Friday so we anxiously await tapping our little toes and heels and going where's our yarn so can't wait to get that and the chunky yarn is going to be in a huge 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 order of chunky so look up all your chunky patterns I've sent a few mom's way she's finding a whole bunch uh Chunky is definitely the way to go. Now, if you remember when we had the Emma Trunk Show, she had the bodacious shawl. It was also called All Nighter. Ah, oh, Colleen, you'll send a photo. Yay, please do, please do. Yes, Emma is always worth the wait. We love her. Bless her heart, she's in college right now. So to dye all that yarn and go to school, I know she's stressing. So we, we just... Keep waiting, keep hoping. Uh, can't wait for it to get here. Anyway, I have a little bit of chunky sheep graffiti style that I've been playing with, and I brought over a skein of each because all you need is two for the all-nighter shawl, and we'll be talking about these more next week when they come in. Uh, this one is cinnamon stick. Lucky. Ooh, the lighting's really good in here today. Hey, Linda's here. Yay, and Lori. Oh, Seal, you got your yarn. Yay, this is Jeans. This is All That Ails You. This one I love. Coffee and wine. It's 
got really cool hints of burgundy and deep, rich, almost black, deep brown. So coffee and wine, what more do you need? Hey, Sally. That one I love too. That one's on there. Berry patch, I think I called it. I can't remember. Anywho, they're under the Chubster. So I don't know if you all remember or not, but oh, where's my label? We named this after my sassy cat, the original Chubster. Um, she was 18 pounds with 22 toes. She was polydactyl. So she needs yarn named after her. Uh, so that's the chunky stuff that we've got going on. Also, we've had a bunch of folks ask, what do we do with that super cool zebra yarn? Mom, you ready? Well, we've dyed up some more of it. I'm working on some new colors. Yay, Helene got her stuff too. Yay. Uh, especially this one, Mistletoes. This happens to be a fabulous batch of it. Look at that rich red and bright green. What to do with it? Well, the sock head hat, one of our lovely folks, they're knitting that up now, but someone recommended the sock head cowl. So let's take a look at the sock head cowl for the fabulous zebra yarn. Hey, Donna! Have you gotten your zebra yarn, Miss Donna? And this one is Eight Nights. And this is new, brand spanking new, just off the drying rack, Limelight. I only have two, two Limelight. So click quickly if this one has your name on it. Can I make more? I didn't write it down, sorry folks. Might be able to, but hey, you know how it goes in the world of the indie dyer artist. Um, we needed some mohair, so we got latte and silver back because everything's got mohair in it now. And we got some mohair sweater kits. And I changed the name on the website. We were doing it for the Cumulus Tea or the um, Calliope, but I just put mohair sweater kit or sweater kits because they're so versatile. And there's so much out there now that's calling for mohair held with fingering. This yarn is amazing. So I'm gonna grab my two new colors, or my two colors, my two colors just died. Um, they're not new, they've been in the repertoire. They're consistent. This is pink champagne, and the light in here is bleaching that out. There you go. So that's a sweater kit. It's the over 1300 yards in mohair and this amazing, even still wet, it's amazing. Uh, this is a silk merino, 491 yards per 100 grams. So it's nice and fine, heavier than lace weight, so it's not hard to work with, um, lighter than most sock weights, and deliciously, deliciously silky. Also, the silk in here takes the dye just a little bit lighter. So it's very, very, very soft. So if you're looking for that perfect mohair sweater, like the classic that my mom just finished and looks fabulous in, I might add, uh, that would be good. Also, still damp, we have Baby Dragon. And you can see the beautiful greens and blues in this. This is several dyes mixed together and glazed and layered. I actually dipped this one three or four times. Yes, that is how the shoulder went out. So that's some fun for this evening. That's what the sheep's been up to. Also, Vicki Howell has a advent calendar. Uh, is it, it's on her Yarn Yay site, and everybody should check it out because Sheep Graffiti is part of it. We have one of the days, we're excited. We can't announce it because we are sworn to secrecy, 
under penalty of yarn strangling. So, um, but go to Vicki Hell's website and check out her advent calendar, um, Yarn Yay. It's really cool. It's a lot of fun, and I was so honored to be part of it. I can't tell you all how much that touched me that I got an email from Vicki Hell. Oh, my gosh. So, big fangirl thing going on here. Really fun. So, hello, Jackie. Hello, Pam. Joanne's here. Joanne, I'll be joining you in a little bit. I will probably go home, so I may be tuning in a little late because I got to get from point A to point B. But um, really excited to see you all on Zoom. So bring, bring what you got, knit along. So which link are you looking for, Miss Sherry? Oh, for the sweater kits? Uh, let's see what I got. I don't have my iPad here. We'll get them up to you, and I'll give them to you tonight if you have a chance to join us. Hey, Pam. This is so fun. And, of course, I'm sitting here in front of the remainder of the Keith 100 Color Cowl Kits. So, as if life wasn't fabulous enough, right? We've got one gray and six, six seven white. They're just amazing. So we're going to be kind of short today, but we're waiting on lots and lots and lots and lots of fabulous, fabulous yarn. Um, have a great night. Rest up. Knit often. My goal is to finish a sleeve. Yay! Can't wait. And then I'm going to finish the body. Oh, that's the other thing I wanted to mention real quick before I sign off. That's why it takes me so long to sign off. So on this sweater, I'm not sure how much yarn I have and how long I want to go. So what I did was I ran my first skein all the way out on the body. And when I finished the first skein, I started the sleeves. So I finished the one, working down the second. And I know I'll have plenty of yarn left. So as soon as I'm done with my sleeves, I go back to the body and make it as long as I want. I do believe I'm going to do about 12 inches plus the ribbing on this. I like a longer sweater cropped, you know me and my middle age crop. Well, I think we're going a little longer on this one. So, um, all in the fun details. Have a great night, everybody. Thank you so much for watching, Mom. Thanks for all your posting and hard work. I really appreciate it. And we'll be here every day, from, every weekday, 11 to 6. Good night, guys.